Here we are at the TW Ward's CNC showroom in Sheffield in front of the Hartford Pro 1000. We'll be reviewing this machine. It's in stock right now and it packs a punch. Wow, we are here in Sheffield. We've got a machine in stock right now, the Hartford Pro 1000, Wayne. But there's another one in stock somewhere else in the UK as well, right? That's right. We have two of these in stock and the other one's located in our Redditch facility. Uh, they are not geographically bound uh, for anyone who's within the UK. Brilliant. And here at TW Ward CNC, you've got loads of machines around in the showroom. Yeah. Really impressive place. We're talking today about the Pro 1000. What do customers need to know about this machine, Wayne? So the Pro 1000, on, uh, in this case, is a one meter vertical machine in center. It's a box guide construction. It's got a 6,000 RPM uh, geared spindle uh, on a BBT 40 taper, and it's got a 30 station, uh, which is, you know, which is an extra, well, I'm going to say six stations more than what usually comes with, uh, arm type tool changer. Yeah, f f it looks can be deceiving. It looks like a standard one meter VMC, but it is absolutely robust, right? What can customers get expect to make on a machine with box guideways and a geared spindle? This machine, with that configuration, is going to lend itself to the general engineering market. Uh, the geared headstock will help with the more heat resistant alloys. Uh, we get good torque characteristics and low RPM performance, so for heavy duty milling applications or uh, U drills, you very common to be U drilling on these machines, uh, we're going to punch that through the material with very little resistance. Yeah, you can imagine with a rigid machine and a, and a gear spin like that, you can, you can have big tools chunking out material. I like those low RPMs, brilliant. And you've got an application showing off some steel machining. What are you showing off here? So predominantly, people will associate a geared spindle, uh, low RPM performance with, with heavy cutting applications. But uh, just to prove the point, we've done a high dynamic trachoidal milling exercise, uh, and we've been feeding through this with a, a one and a half millimeter radial engagement to over five meters a minute, just to just to demonstrate at that point that, that, that there is a, a good element of flexibility so uh, most engineers can put multiple types of, of work on this and get good performance from it. And there's actually a lot of other options as well that come as standard that engineers wouldn't necessarily expect from a machine like this. No, we bring a number of uh, additional options in as standard uh, for the UK market. For instance, all our machines come with a fourth axis preparation. We've got uh, full CCTV in there. Uh, it's very difficult sometimes with coolant and high pressure uh, suds that are going on to see what's going on. So we have a camera within the working area so we can always visualize what's going on. And that's uh, uh, easily seen on the second screen there on the control. Uh, as well as the high pressure coolant, we've got air blast there so we can do dry machining and still evacuate the area so we aren't getting any swap contamination around the cutters. And we bring an increased capacity uh, arm type tool changer in there with a 30 pocket carousel. You can imagine with the fourth axis prep or the big bed, actually with the extra 30 tools, you can do different jobs and still have enough tools in the package to not have to change over tooling packages. That's right. Uh, we Allows us, it allows end users to potentially consider multiple setups uh, with minimal downtime, switching between various components uh, with leaving a standard tool suite in the machine. And don't forget this machine is in stock right now in Sheffield and another one in Redditch available all across the nation. What happens if someone buys this machine? What's their time to first part, I guess, first part at their workshop? So uh, from point of PO, we'll go from there, uh, we'll launch our kickoff meeting for the project within the business. Delivery, at the shortest could probably be within a week, certainly within two weeks, or beyond that it would be a customer request. Um, training and that, installation, sorry, would take place straight after delivery. Installation on a machine of this nature, one day, maybe one and a half, uh, just depending on what we're trying, where, where, where the final resting place in the workshop might be. And then training can uh, proceed from there. Depending on the familiarity of the control of the end user, it might be one or two days, they might want a week. We can do that uh, within a classroom environment here at our facilities in Sheffield. Uh, but more often than not, the customer likes to do it within their facilities on their parts. So the uh, technicians being trained are familiar with what's going on. And once customers are making good parts on their workshop, the after sales care is really important to TW Wards. Absolutely. The after sales is, is, is really the, the relationship that we want to cement uh, with the customer. Uh, comes with a fully supported two year parts and labor warranty. Uh, and, and any service intervention is delivered by our own service team. Uh, we have telephone support uh, as, as well. Uh, we endeavor to get out to a customer within 24 hours when that is possible. I, depending on the proximity, we will endeavor to get someone there same day. 
uh, we can also dial into the machine as well and do a, a diagnostic and, and on many occasions we can we can talk a customer and end user through through the issue and get them going up in a, in a, in a minimal time uh, so they're back making components again. Brilliant. So there's two robust machines in stock around the UK available from TW Wards with full service and support.